A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst Mod. So last episode we faced the day 42 Horde Knight and it was insanely huge. Once again they did a ton of damage over there. I need to figure out why they're doing that damage right there. For some reason right there they were digging into the wall but the ladder's right there. So I don't know if I should give them more ladders or what's going on over there. But yeah, we have to fix that as soon as possible. Uh, for today, I actually want to go back to Tesco. All the way over here. All these black dots over here are still vehicles that we have to go and wrench. And then I also have to loot the back and the sides of it. And I still have to loot the roof as well. Everything else on the inside, I think we've actually looted. But yeah, basically we have a lot to do. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't take my mini bike with me because we need space. The dirt bike is way faster. But the mini bike just has way more space on it. And we're definitely going to need the space when we're looting right now. Um, I wonder if I'm going to need a fire extinguisher. Yeah, just in case, right? Coin. Yeah, we're not going to need any coin on us. Ooh, all this stuff over here is busy spoiling. Damn. I'm hoping there's some drinks and stuff still over there. Because there's still a few boxes there that we haven't even taken. So I'll put this over here. We'll just unlock this. And then, yeah, we're going to take the AK with just as a backup weapon in case we get some ferals and stuff. We have the anti-rad mod on this weapon over here. And look at it, guys. 7, 2, 8. We have to keep using this one, though, on the roof and everything. Because at the moment, we're so close to getting the crossbow repeater. So basically, we'll be able to shoot like five, six, seven shots in a row without having to worry. Yeah, I'm going to clear out the section over here to get my mini bike off. Um... This thing's just so much faster, but it only has one row of space compared to the mini bike, which is over here. The mini bike has three rows of space, so I think we should take the mini bike with us, especially since I know we have to do a lot of looting and stuff. Um, although now I need to get out over here. Seems we can drop down here. You need to be careful when you're dropping with this vehicle so you don't accidentally uh, fall on your face. Hello, Z zombie. Okay, anyways, let's go over here. Um, it's going to be best going down this road. I'm just going to go to Tesco. Like I said, we have to go and wrench everything. Uh, I also did. Yeah, we repaired the crowbar. It was a pinkish purple color, and unfortunately, we had to repair it. But now with full durability and also a durability mod on, we should be able to wrench all the vehicles over there as well. But I think we're basically going to put everything in the boxes outside the building, and we're going to go back when we have like a proper vehicle. But I need a gas mask so we can actually go to tier 5 radiator POIs and go for the final stashes. I'm so tempted to go for all these stags and stuff that I'm passing right now. But depending on how long I stay at Tesco, all that meat's going to spoil. Also guys, um, I don't know if I've already announced it, but we are going to be doing a new Ravener series. It's actually going to be tonight. Um, yeah, it feels weird recording videos in, uh, in advance and then having to determine what, uh, what day it's going to go out. But yeah, basically tonight, uh, this, vehicle comes, uh, this video comes out in the morning. And at night, we're going to be streaming um, Ravenhurst on the Patreon server. A few of the members uh, said yeah, they're interested in actually trying this out. Um, it is a little bit laggy, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too uh, much lag on the server itself. We're going to start with a little bit of the fire thing still active. And then if we see that the fire mod creates too much lag on the server, we'll remove it. But yeah, I can't wait to actually try this as a group. And now also, since I know this mod... I know where I went wrong. I know how to advance and stuff. I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to get way more stuff done. Or we'll just do way better. Look at all the deer and stags just walking around. This is how I got my 125 meat as well. Last time when I went to the desert. Just going through over here. I, I killed a ton of them. And then in the desert itself, there was so much meat. It's weird how many deer and stag were actually running around inside the desert biome. I think I'm actually going to make myself a hole over here so we don't have to keep running all the way around over there. Which probably also, every time I see a zombie try and snipe it with my crossbow, we have to get this crossbow skill up as high as possible. But look at this, there's so many vehicles still left to wrench over here. I think we'll first focus on clearing this place. As far as I'm aware, we've already looted all the vehicles at least. But uh, yeah, we're going to go through this place quickly. We're going to see if we uh, have some more zombies to kill. I know on the roof there might be some and at the back of this BI. Also see what I left over here. Did I have any 7.62 ammo here? Because I really needed that for Horde Knight. I know some meat and stuff spoiled. We'll just drop all of that to the right. 5.56. Five, five, Apparently it's not just uh, sniper rifles at 5.556. Five, five, oh, what's this doing here? 
Damn, okay. But yeah, it's not just um, the rifles that fire 5.56, but also some endgame guns. So I'm kind of curious to see what guns those are, because I really, really, really need some better weapons right now. Okay, so these boxes are all there full almost. We still have to go and range all of these too, because the amount of mechanical parts you can get just from wrenching these is ins insane. I'm hiccuping over here. Okay, so, um, any zombies super close by? I should probably start using my spear as well, because my spear is kind of a low durability or low quality skill. I'm not going to go for any bones right now. Unfortunately, my, uh, my st steer, or steer, the spear skill over here is actually really, really low still. I need to get this up. At the moment, we can make iron spears. I want to be able to make a steel spear. And then, let me just see, spear. Level 2 or 1. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Okay, what I want to do is basically all the trash bags, all, all the loot that we can loot, I want to loot. And then I want to sort everything in the front. And then what we don't want, we can just always chuck away. We don't have to keep everything that we see. Okay, I have to be careful just now. You would never know what's inside of a uh, uh, thing like this. Look at that, one HP left as well. I had to repair my shovel, so I wonder if it was a uh, higher durability, whether it will do one shot. But if I can just get my mining skills slightly up from action skills, I'll be able to finally one-shot resources like this. Even when mining for clay, I'm almost like, it's one HP away in a normal dirt as well. Not this topsoil, but the dirt underneath. If I can one-shot for clay, it's going to be so much easier getting stuff done. I think I shouldn't leave Tesco until we're completely done with this place. Nice. We can always sell the batteries because I'm not going to use them. We can put all of these in the recycler, and then especially when reach, uh, when uh, wrenching vehicles, we need these. You can make your own, but if we can actually just find those, it's going to help us a lot. We don't have to worry about making our own, we can just use those. I mean, it's easy enough making them, don't get me, don't get me wrong. That's just scrap polymers. Yeah, basically it's like scrap polymers and iron or something to be able to make them. So it is easy enough to make, but it takes a while to make them. I'll re rather wrench a ton of vehicles like the ones in front and get everything I need from them than having to go and make my own from scratch. The more resources we can save right now, the better. Ooh, yeah, twine. We have to make sure we get as much twine as possible. That's also why I want to loot all the shelves and stuff over here. I really desperately need twine. Now, you could go and just clear some for your eyes and just break the couches and stuff for twine. But if we could get it over here as well, why not? This is also going to give us some fuel and stuff. Nice. But yeah, basically, guys, um, oh, I should actually rush a little bit. I want to get this outside done first. The reason being is at nighttime, we do get nemesis zombies and stuff spawning. So during nighttime, I want to be inside the place looting and not have to worry about, oh, crap, that boss just spawned in next to me over here. Um... Yeah, I do need to range all the vehicles though as well. So if during nighttime I can range a ton of vehicles, I'll try it. But I have to really keep the eye out for the bottom left of here. If you see like a heart symbol, that means it's a nemesis zombie. You have to really, really be careful. It scorches the air around it for like a little bit of a distance. And then also... Ooh, hidden stash. Uh, but yeah, it scorches the air and then also it is super, super tough. At least we are lucky because we have our um, anti-rad mod. Or the rad remover mod finally. Yeah, we finally have another one, so we'll be able to at least deal with him. It's weird, I really thought there'd be some zombies at the back of here, but so far, nothing. Just from this little bit of looting out here, I'm already encumbered. Look at this. Glow stick. I didn't even place it down, I just dropped it, and it's actually lighting up the whole area of here. So during nighttime, if you want to have some light, you just throw one of these down. You don't even have to put it down, you just... Oh, what was that just now? I need to be careful of wandering hordes and stuff spawning right now. But I'm also super, super full, so I have to really think about what I'm grabbing. I think let's just quickly drop this stuff off first, and then we can come grab the rest of here. Also, guys, um, yeah, uh, I sort of noticed this an episode or two ago, but you, uh, you can only unlock... Oh, hello. You can only unlock um, with, a back, uh, with 10 backpacks. After that, doesn't matter if you use more backpacks or not, the last row will never, ever be unlocked. To get the last row, you have to use, like, uh, steroids and stuff. It is unfortunate because, I mean, now you have to use steroids, you have to focus on water and stuff, but it makes sense. It's, it's too easy if the backpacks do everything for you, so you have to rely on some drugs as well. Okay, now I want to dump some stuff. I should probably see if I can't drop all the stackables together, all the non-stackables together, all the car parts together. If I can do stuff like that... We might actually be able to sort stuff easier when coming over here. Drop all of this, drop all of this. There is some food and stuff over here in case I get a little bit low. 
but I don't see any water. Okay, let me just go again. Um, it's almost nighttime. I want to get to the roof before nighttime as well. Should at least be kind of safe up there. I also want to come and lockpick all of these over here. Hopefully get quite a bit of coin from that. And then, yeah, these vehicles I'll just go and wrench. Either during the nighttime or during the daytime. But we have to make sure that we get all of the vehicles over here. If we can actually manage to grab all of them, I think it's going to be a massive, massive bonus for us. That's not a wandering horde. That's just random zombies. I should probably see if I can't snipe them from a distance. If I can snipe all those zombies, it's going to be bonus damage. I'll be able to kill them in one shot. And also, it's going to work on my bow skill. I'm so close to being able to unlock the crossbow repeater. It's insane. Okay. Yeah, these lockpicks just suck. They really absolutely suck. It is my biggest dream that most mods will have an option. You just hold down E and you have an option to go manual or automatic lockpicking. A lot of people prefer the automatic ones. It just fails way too much in my opinion. The amount of lockpicks. And even if you put a point into lockpicking, that does not matter. It still sucks. Okay, this actually has a little bit of a slight drop to it. So I need to aim right on top of the zombie and then go a little bit up. That was a little bit too high. Stand still, stand still. Yeah, okay, I'll have to get closer. I can't afford to waste my bolts right now. At least if I'm close like this, I can shoot without having to aim like uh, too high, too low. I keep forgetting that the bolt speed on this thing is really, really fast. So technically, you don't have to aim high at all. I mean, uh, depending on the distance, basically. Because with a few zombies, like say they're at that car over there, if I just go like a millimeter or so above the head, it does a headshot damage. I'm just afraid if I don't do that, it's going to go and hit them in like the chest or something and they're not going to drop. I'm definitely going to need like a 4x4 or something to take all this stuff with me. I'm actually thinking... Oh, look at all that cash. I'm thinking... Oh, I just hope there's nothing that burns these uh, stuff down. Do take these glow sticks with me. I want to test them out on the roof. It's going to get nighttime now, so we want to be able to have some light. I have no idea how long they're supposed to last, though. So we have to come over here, we have to loot all these aisles. All of these aisles are completely, completely full still. I technically also want to break all of these chairs over here. Make sure no zombies respawned. I want to break all the chairs over here as well for the bent nails. Even though we can make our own nails, it still just helps having it already um, collected. Collecting it instead of crafting it from a new, it actually does help a little bit. I have to make sure the zombies over here have not respawned because some of them, especially at night time, they respawn in the aisles. Now, I, I don't know if it's because I haven't cleared the roof yet, but during night time, all of a sudden you'll see sleepers on top of here or downstairs. Man, look at all these aisles. Every single one of these shelves, and it's double shelves. Also behind the shelf, there's actually a walkway. So I wonder if there's any loot hidden in between any of these walkways over here. Okay, we already cleared the back over there. I want to make sure there's literally, like I said, no, no, no zombies over here. We've already done everything on this side, so we can close this down. I don't want to have any unfortunate or any zombies just popping out of nowhere. Okay, we'll reloot all of that. I need to come loot these. I want to pick that up. Because, I mean, obviously, if you break it, you're only going to get the saw blade and you have to make your own again, but that's fine. Uh, Jump up. Cr crouch. Wait, what? Crouch. There you go. Okay, so now all we have to do is go back up top again. Uh, hopefully there's no ferals and stuff spawning in now. I'm going to get upstairs before any zombies start respawning. Like I said, the zombies do spawn down here. And with all this fog in this mod, it's insane. Sure, nothing respawned this side. Although this is not the side that matters. The side that matters is up top. Okay, we have definitely cleared all of these offices over here. We don't need fire extinguishers because we have our own. So all I need to go and do now is go back over here. This leads to the roof over here. Um, yeah, let me just clear that up. These boxes. I'll loot them on the way back down again. I think for now, I also have to be careful because this roof is so big, it does cave in. I think for now, I'll stick to like the corners so they don't cave in too much. But the moment you start walking over there, all of a sudden, this whole place starts you caving in. Will feel their hate. Oh, I hate that voice. Hello. Nice, my archer just went up. I didn't even realize there was a vulture by me just now. Two more, two more, two more, two more. 
Now, with all this fog and it's being nighttime, I'm also recording this during the day, so I can't really see on the screen that well. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> I'm hoping there's no radiated zombies up here. Ferals, I don't mind, but radiated might be a problem. I should probably skin the birds as well, right? Because some of these birds might actually have... I mean, uh, they might not... Uh, not might have. Uh, the birds actually have, like, bones and stuff, too. All the corpses, everything of you, I'm supposed to go and skin. Make sure I at least pick up my arrows. I know there are feral zombies up here as well. So I want to make sure we first kill all the zombies and then we go and loot everything up here. So we do that. I should be able to see any zombies laying over there. And then I also want to do this just in case. I'm not going to see a vulture in time and then I'm going to have to melee it. Hello, hello, hello. Bye bye. It's so dark, I can't see anything over there. Okay, anyways, let's just keep walking on the room over here. At least we can more or less see the vultures from a distance like so. As long as I can take the ones on the corners out, we can take the ones in the middle out. That's a vulture over there. And then I want to go and do this again. It's nice when it uh, lands behind the zombies. Because then at least you know more or less where the zombies are. I think there's another one right there. It's a big ass vulture. Damn. There's probably going to be more ferals and stuff up there, so I'm going to be careful when I, when I get closer. I think for, yeah, let's for now just kill the stuff that's up here, and then I'll go around again and loot everything. I have to be careful as well, because the zombies downstairs can also see my light, and see me walking over here, so they'll definitely come for me if I'm not careful. Another big-ass vulture. The nice thing over here is there's so much to hit, that I'm definitely going to get... I think after I'm done over here at Tesco, my bow skill will definitely be a full... 90. It's nice that they actually, it shows the HP from this far away. Like I said, for me, uh, you guys might be able to see better than I do right now because uh, there's light shining on my screen. So I have to just determine, okay, is that a threat or not? Also have to be careful of this floor caving in. It's one of my fears right now. I'm going to have to start running to the middle now too. Where did I come up? I have to try and shoot them as much as possible. Oh, nice. There's all of a sudden light over here. Um, yeah, now that the fog is gone, all of a sudden I can actually see what I'm doing. But I'll have to make sure that when I run for certain spots, I actually run for it. So if the floor starts to cave, I'm safe. Okay, so this is where we came up. So far, it doesn't seem like there's any threats downstairs, but we have to be careful because, yeah, there are some threats. But we have to be careful of the nemesis zombies and the bosses. Let me just close that down just in case. These things used to be annoying Alpha 20. They were in the sewer system. I think I should probably loot one of them, yeah. These sprinkler looking things were in the sewer system with like a stick through it and it would make this sprinkling ch 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 sound. And even if you destroyed it, went down there, risked your life and destroyed it, it didn't take away the sound. You'd have to actually relog completely before you're able to do that. I wonder if I should also go for this. I mean, while I'm here, I can just, yeah, I'll do it. Let's just first kill, uh, kill all the zombies then. I have to go back to all the sections anyway to be able to loot everything and range everything. Okay, so this section's clear. Oh, I thought you were one of the dead ones. Oh, there's a bag there, weapons bag. I wonder if the floor only caves if you stand still for too long. Or if it caves in regardless. Because you should see the holes in TBF Gaming's Tesco. <laughs> and I actually saw the video where you fell down from the roof all the way into the aisles. And with that much, uh, much of a fall... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. With that much of a fall... Oh, something just caved in. Uh, he definitely broke his leg. Okay. There's something over here just caved in. I want to see what it was. 
I heard it came. What? Oh, there you go. See, so it does cave in. You have to be so careful when running over here. That could have been us falling all the way and breaking our legs. And we don't want to break our legs while we're still busy mid looting and stuff. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. It's only a sprain. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, just as I said, I don't want to fall. I actually fall. I have to be careful because since it's nighttime, like I said, sometimes the zombies respawn over here. Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me just now. <laughs> and it was an instant, I didn't even hear the cracking sound or anything. It just instantly caved in. Because it's not supposed to, meant to, uh, to be a trap. It's not meant to be a trap. So uh, because of that, it just instantly caves in. If it was a trap, at least it would make a cracking sound before caving in like that. I hear footsteps, but I'm guessing that zombie's downstairs. Those blue feral whites. Ooh, snipe. Oh, silencer. What the hell from the bag? I'm so glad that I don't pause and unpause my recordings anymore because that would not have been on the recording just now. Awesome. At least only two minutes left of my leg being busted, but I also hear a ton of dogs downstairs. And also so far, more and more and more pieces of the roof have started to cave in, but it seems it's mostly in the middle of here. Like, in between the uh, these things, there's a lot of stuff caving in all of a sudden. I don't know if that's a wandering horde or just like a random dog down there, but I don't want to take a chance. So far, we have 72 mechanical parts, and that's just insane. I want to make sure... I, I wonder if I, if I were to fall, whether I can place a frame underneath me fast enough to catch myself. Oh, there's still actually some bolts in these vultures. Uh, but yeah, if I were to be able to place a shape fast enough and uh, place it underneath me, but I think because I'm not touching the floor, it would count as me trying to nerd fall. So it would delete the shape and it wouldn't uh, protect me from falling. I need to be careful. I'm so overly encumbered right now. And especially with all of these uh, holes over here in the floor, we're going to start caving in or falling through more and more and more and more. I'm so encumbered right now. Look at all of the brass radiators over here. I've already dropped some stuff that I wasn't going to use anyways. Uh, should probably save that until I actually do get damaged. The silencer, I can't put any, any gun. It has to be yellow quality and up to receive any mods. It's a shame I don't have my pistol on me. and uh, It's a shame that it lost your ability. Get the crap out of me. There's another vulture right there. I'm going to have to go down quickly and just drop everything off before continuing. Because I won't be able to grab anything else over here if there's more stuff to loot because of the space. We could, just to save some space, do this at least. Do that. Do this. Just light up over here a little bit and then we have a little bit more space to work with. Probably first see if there's anything else to clear over here before I continue. Yep, yep, yep. There's definitely some stuff to clear over here. Is he the only one? Oh, there's a crawl underneath me. Come on, turn around. I want to make sure that we don't waste our shots. We only have so many arrows. Ooh, a safe that we can unlock as well. I don't think there's anything else left over here. There's some books here. There doesn't seem to be any zombies inside these tents, just free resources. And also, I thought to remember that might be an explosive. Oops. I'm hoping that book didn't get deleted just now. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. Because we already had it open. Oh, that's just normal paper. Because we already had it open, it actually popped into its own bag just now. Nice. But as far as I can see, we've actually looted everything up and now I just have to go and clear up the rest. Just wrench it and grab everything that I don't, that I need and don't need. If I get something awesome that's safe, that's going to be, I don't have enough space for that. But I want all this cloth, I want everything basically up here. Yeah, we'll definitely have to go and drop some stuff first. I'm just hoping we get some really great guns and stuff soon. Our, our game stage is slowly but surely starting to climb up. And yeah, at this rate, we just now need the, the better loot, the guns and stuff. I think I parked my vehicle over there. So I need to jump down there, try and uh, take a ladder back up. And I need to come and wrench the rest of the... Uh... Okay, as long as I don't fall through the floor again, please. I should probably just jump around like this. 
Hopefully by jumping around like this, I don't fall through the floor. I can only hope that there's no holes over here. I'm busy using this knife. Unfortunately, I dropped the level, the, like the green knife. I dropped that inside the containers downstairs. Now I have to use my level 1000 knife to do all this. Oh, yes. Was that 76? Yes, 762. Nice. I'm trying to make sure we get all of the cloth over here. And then as soon as I'm done over here, I need to go downstairs for the aisles. It's a little bit of a waste during daytime just to clear a place. But I really desperately need all these resources over here. If I don't grab them now, I'll never grab them. And then we're going to be short later. I'll rather now spend a little bit of time going like, ah, oh, damn it, now we have to do this. Then later being like, oh crap, I wish I did that. I actually completely forgot that I uh, didn't really need my mini bike at the moment. I should have actually come here with my uh, dirt bike so it's easy to get back and forth between the base. Because now we've looted everything over here, but look at my food and water. My water was just like 18 or something and I had to take my Mega Crush. But now that my Mega Crush is gone, it's gone. I can't even do that anymore. I'm hoping I still have some drinks and stuff downstairs in the vehicle, but I don't think I really have that much. And now we have to go downstairs and kill some enemies. As long as there's no Wandering Horde, we should be fine. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. I have to be careful just in case there's some dogs and stuff over here. I know the dogs were on this side somewhere. Just don't know exactly where. Were they, uh, where? Were they inside or were they outside? Luckily, most of the nighttime zombies, the tier 2 zombies, despawn in the morning. So it allows us to not have to worry too much about them. Okay. I'm going to spend so much time here now trying to get this place done. That I have this feeling we're going to get a wandering horde here. And if we get a wandering horde inside this place, it's going to be hectic. Uh, okay, so put that over there. I don't, I'm not going to need the knife now because I don't think there's anything else to break downstairs. Make sure anything that can stack, can stack first. And then go and dump stuff. Okay, so let's see food and drink. Uh, if I take some vitamins, I have to have a vitamin or two over here somewhere, right? If I can take a vitamin, I can actually eat... Ooh, how many of those barricades do we have? 60 barricades! Damn! I was wondering where I put all of those. Okay, at least we do have canned foods over here and stuff that we can eat. And then also, these give you 10 water each, so we can take these to fill up almost to 100. This over here, 15. Nice. Oh, the tuna we have to save. I'm hoping we can actually find some more tuna in the shelves and stuff. Because we need that tuna to be able to get that one class done. We have to make tuna sandwiches right now. Another way is to just go um, fishing. Which, well, I mean, I can do, I can go and do that. But yeah, we need to go and fish to see if we can't catch some fish. Uh, fish. I need to go catch some fish. And then we have to use that uh, to make ourselves uh, like a... Uh, we have to slice it, I think, in the food preparation table. And then make ourselves cans. And then with those cans, we can keep going. Okay, I'm all the way full. Oh, my vitamins are on me. Just realized, damn. Yeah, where's this lady now? There's that dude over there, but it was also like an office worker lady. Over here just now, unless she went behind the vehicle. What the hell? How fast is this bow? I, mean, I keep going, I keep over and under correcting. Oh, there she is. I wonder how fast the arrow travels or the ball travels. Because at the moment, it feels like I just keep missing. Okay, so as long as we drop this stuff over here. Where did we have some cans? I know that we had some cans over here somewhere, right? Yep, there you go. Okay, so now all we have to do is clear the inside of here, but we have to be careful. There might have actually been a wandering horde during nighttime as well. We've already basically done this whole side over here. Yeah, I just have to focus on all the shells, but now you can see there's actually a lot of zombies over here. And this is basically nighttime spawn. I don't think this was a wandering horde. More of them would be feral if this was wandering. I wish I was able to aim from the hip more. But the accuracy drops incredibly when you aim from the hip. And with the way these guys swing their heads, it's sometimes really hard hitting them properly. So instead of that, I should use the spear to try and get my spear up as well every now and then. So I'm going to have to be careful of any zombies that woke up in between over here. 
But I think there was... Oh, except for the dogs. Where are the dogs? I think they might actually be in the back room. I don't see any other zombies right now, so we should be safe to just go. It leads to the back room as well. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to go and I'm going to loot all of this stuff now. Let's see how far we can get with this. If I can at least get a row or two done, because look how long it takes to actually loot stuff. Uh, do we have any points to spend? No. I want to go into Lucky Loot over here, because this is also looting is 40% faster. So I need to go for these over here, so that we can actually basically almost insta-open up all of these containers over here, because they, they take way too long to open. It's only like two seconds or something, but it's per shelf. That's a lot of time being, uh, especially with the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shelves over here. I think the nice thing on the server is going to be the fact that everyone's helping wrench and stuff as well. The amount of uh, shopping carts over here is just insane. If I could two shot them, it wouldn't be too bad, but I have to three shot them. I can two shot power attack them, but I can't two shot left click them. So I'm going to run out of stamina way too fast if I have to go and wrench all of these. So basically what I decided to do, instead of going for the aisles for now, I went for the cashiers. And then, yeah, all of this over here. So basically, we've done the whole top floor. Although there are still some clothes and stuff that we can go and scrap. So except for the clothes, we've looted mostly everything else. There's shelves up top over there. And then we have to loot all of these shelves over here still as well. I wonder if it's going to be worth going for all of these chairs. Can I one-shot them already? Yeah. Look at that. It gives us nails for a per chair broken. So obviously after a while, the nails start to add up and up and up and up and up. And then before you know it, you have hundreds and hundreds of nails. And that's going to save you time and effort having to go and make them on your own. Okay. So we have successfully done the bathrooms. I hear another sleeping zombie somewhere. That's impossible. We cleared all of them out. But basically, yeah, we have done all the bathrooms. We have done the, uh, the back over there. We've done all of this over here and all of the cashiers. We've done all the way around the back. We've done the warehouse and the roof. So now that all that's left to do is I just get the aisles over here. I wonder if I shouldn't just quickly loot everything and then, but then again, if I find something awesome, I'll have to start an episode and then just uh, be quiet or pause or now, but I can't pause. It takes so much time. Or I have to basically record for like an hour just to make sure that we, uh, if we get something awesome that I have it on camera as well, because these aisles might have some really good stuff in them. And then I didn't have it recording. I need to have it recording. But yeah, basically there's a lot of clothes up top that we still have to go and loot. Um, and wrench, uh, not wrench, uh, scrap, because that's going to give us quite a bit of cloth. But for now, we don't really need anything. Oh, what was this? Uh, repair tools, boom. How high is that right now? Repair, salvage tools, 41, so I can go... No, it has to be 60. It's a shame that it skips. Some of them go like 20, 40, 60. That just goes 20, 60. Just like with the stun baton. I actually want to see if I can't do a little bit of sorting over here, but there's so much food that's going to uh, spoil soon. I wonder if I shouldn't take all the food and ammo back to the base first, and then come back with my dirt bike, because it's going to be faster reaching this place. I think I should probably do that. If I can put all of the food and drink at least, and all of the ammo and guns and tools, then later we can go back for all the miscellaneous stuff. Although, if I can take all the, uh, all the resources with me as well, well, we'll see how much space I have, especially the, bar uh, the barricades. That is important. But yeah, okay, so if you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. What do you guys think about this POI? I think it's really friggin' awesome. I mean, we didn't really do that much killing in this episode, but at least we now can say for certain that we've cleared the whole place, as far as I'm aware. So now all I have to do is actually go strip it bare. We have to wrench all these vehicles, we have to loot all the shelves on the inside, and then we can move on. But yeah, leave a comment down below, and if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.